I'm going to take a look at parallel and perpendicular lines. So go ahead and fill it in. Parallel on the left and perpendicular on the right. What does parallel mean? Lines that never meet. Lines that have the same slope. Lines that have the same slope. Kind of like railway tracks. They never meet. So they're two lines that never meet. Versus perpendicular. And I underlined it with that little box on purpose. It says lines that meet at 90 degrees angles. Lines that meet at 90 degrees angles. And all you have to do really is take the slope, flip it, and change the sign. So you take whatever slope it is, to get the perpendicular slope, you flip it and change the sign. This is a listening check. Underline the word equations. Underline equations. So parallel same slope, perpendicular, flip it and change the sign. So y equals mx plus b, the slope is negative 5 over 4. And then parallel to the point, negative 5, 1. That means they're going to have the same slope. All you got to do is put in the formula. So x1, y1. So plug in y1, which is 1, and x1, which is negative 5. And go ahead and simplify. Let's get rid of the fraction because I hate fractions. Multiply everything by 4, but not the inside of the house. This is what you're going to get. Those 4s cancel, leave negative 5. Let's go ahead and get into the house. So that's negative 5x plus net minus 25. Bring everything else down. Take the 4 to the other side. It's going to be plus 4. Simplify that. And then divide everything by 4. Everything by 4. Simplifies to that. So you'll notice that I'll have the same slope because the parallel means the same slope. All right, we're graphing it. Go ahead and separate it into two like this. So y equals mx plus b, we're going to graph both. m is negative 5 over 4, and then the y-intercept is 10. For Then graph it. So intercept 10, going down 5, and right 4. Take a ruler or anything really, like an ID or something, and just join the two points. That's the original line. So we're finding a line parallel to that, which we already found. All right, line parallel to that. So it's same slope, which is negative 5 over 4, as you can see. This is a listening check. Put a circle around 1. Put a circle around 1. And the y-intercept, we found it to be... Or actually, you can just say, you can just start at that point, negative 5, 1. So start at the point, negative 5, 1. And then we're going to do rise over run. So negative 5, 1, and then we're going to rise, negative 5, and then run 5, 4. And if I did this correctly, these lines should never meet. See, they never meet because they are parallel. P A R R A L L E L. Parallel. So I did that correctly. They never meet. I can write perpendicular equations. So again, find the slope, which is negative 5 over 4. And then find the perpendicular slope, flip it, and change the sign. So it's 4 over 5, change the sign from negative to positive. Going through this point, negative 5, 1. So x1, y. This time I'm going to use y because I'm x plus b. And wherever I see y, I'm going to put in y. Where I see m, I'm going to put in the slope. And where I see x, I'm going to put in the x value. Remember, if it's on the top and the bottom with multiplication, it cancels. So leaving negative 4 plus b. Solve for b. b is equal to 5. Then y equals the slope, which is 4 over 5x, and then plus b, which is 5. The listening check, box y equals mx plus b. Again, the biggest thing to remember is the slope is going to be flipped and change the sign for perpendicular. Parallel is the same. So let's go ahead and graph it. So we're going to graph the original one, which has a slope of negative 5 over 4, and the y-intercept is 10. So down 5, right 4. Graph it. All right, if we did this right, it should cross at 90 degrees. So the second one, the slope, is 4 over 5, because you flip it and change the sign. And then we can just start at that point that they give us, the negative 5, 1. Or you can use the y-intercept. So I'll use the y-intercept 5 on this one. So 5, and then we're going to go up 4, right 5. Up 4, right 5. Because that's the slope. All right, join the line. And does it look like it crossed at 90 degrees? It does, which means I graphed this correctly. So remember, perpendicular crosses at 90. Parallel never touches. This is a listening check. Write Miss Ainley rocks. <laughs> Write Miss Ainley rocks right there above perpendicular. Take a look at another example. So just write parallel all the way down and perpendicular all the way down because that's what we're going to do the whole time. All right, parallel, same slope. So we're going to grab this slope from that when we're writing a line parallel. So it's 1 over 6. And the point is negative 2, 2. Y equals mx plus b. Plug in y, which is 2. x, which is negative 2. And slope, which is 1 over 6. 
Go ahead and simplify that. So two into two one time, into six three times. Some that didn't get rid of the fraction. I hate fractions, so we're gonna go ahead and multiply everything by three. Is don't multiply to the house. That's six, those threes cancel, so that's the negative one, and then three B. Move the one to the negative one to the side, positive one, that's seven. And then we're gonna have equals three B divided by three. So B is equal to seven over three, and it's okay to get a fraction. So the slope is one over six X plus seven over three. All right, now we're going to graph it. So the slope for the original is 1 over 6. The y-intercept is negative 10. So we'll start at negative 10 and we're going to go up 1, right 6. Rise over, run over, change in y over, change x. All right, so that's the original line. Another line parallel to this with the same slope because it's parallel, so 1 over 6. And start at the point they give you, which is negative 2, 2, because the y-intercept is a fraction. So negative 2, 2. And then we're going to go up 1, right 6. Up 1, right 6. Up 1, right 6. If I did this correctly, they'll never meet. Yes, I did. You see the straight lines are never going to meet. So these are parallel lines. Let's take a look at perpendicular. Remember, all you do is you take the slope, flip it, and change the sign. So you start off with 1 over 6. You're going to flip it, so 6 over 1, and change the sign. So negative. Negative 6 over 1. This is a listening check. Put a triangle around number 2. A triangle. All right. And it goes to the point negative 2, 2. So again, start with y equals mx plus b. You could use the other one, but this one's faster. Plug in uh, 2 for y, negative uh, 6 for m, and negative 2 for x. Go ahead and solve. There are no fractions in this one. Yay! You get b is equal to negative 10. Plug it back in. So y equals negative 6 minus 10. So the original is 1 over 6, and the y-intercept is negative 10. So negative 10. 1 up, right 6 join those two lines and if I did this correctly it's gonna cross at a 90 degree angle because it's perpendicular so the new slope is negative 6 over 1 and because I can use a y-intercept because um, it's not a fraction so y intercept negative 10 so start at negative 10 I'm supposed to go 6 down and right 1 but I can switch it to go 6 up and left 1 it's the same thing as going 6 down and right 1 going the opposite way Right, if I did this correctly, it should meet at 90. Yes, it does look like it meets at 90, so I did that correctly. So that's perpendicular. So again, parallel, same slope, perpendicular, flip it and change the sign. That's pretty much all you need to remember. We'll finish part two in the next video.